Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know. What's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost. And today, we are back with day six of 12 Days of Glamness. This one is more of a transformation than a makeup tutorial. One of the things that always stuck with me, especially being someone that wanted to work with artists when I started my career, but just working at a counter and doing things that were fast paced in order to get into MAC back when you actually had to like do an interview that required you to do makeup versus it being more of like who you know. It did require you to be able to transform a look from daytime to nighttime. So although the look that you guys saw on day five could also be worn at night, personally, I feel like because of how bright and welcoming the eye was, it's definitely wearable for the daytime had I chose a different look. So I wanted to transform that look into a nighttime look for you guys using this very gorgeous cranberry reddish look. It's very festive, very holidays. It's giving very much um sprite winter berry you know what i'm saying so if you guys are interested in seeing how i transformed yesterday's look into this gorgeous cranberry look keep watching so before i do anything i need to get this matte lip off of me so i used my nyx eye and lip remover to remove the beef for certain lippy from day five's look off of me i don't really know how i feel about that because it is a little oily i, I don't know I prefer a makeup wipe, but that was in front of me, so that was what I used. So for the transition of the eye, I'm using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, and I went in with the shade Calabar. Now what I will say, because this was focusing on transitioning a look, I personally prefer, especially if I'm on set and we're doing multiple looks, to start out with the light look, like something that's buildable, versus if I would have started off with this cranberry look and wanted to transition it into a matte look, it just would have been backwards, more time would have been used because I would have to take the shimmer shade off to go to the matte look. So that's a just, I feel like it's common sense, but it is a tip for those of you guys who are getting into makeup. If you're going to be doing multiple looks, start with the look that you can build on first. So that way you're not wasting time trying to change in between looks. But I pretty much just went back in with all the same shades that I was blending out and, you know, just perfected the eye. And then I did put a little bit of that Calabar in my inner corners. Now, as for the star of the show, our black owned product for today is the Black Opal Oil Absorbing Powder. I'm in the shade Smoking Topaz. This is an absolute staple in my kit. When I tell y'all, if you are oily, you guys see it in real time. Once you pat this powder down, the shine goes away, but it's not leaving like a white cast. You guys know I use RCMA No Color Powder anyways, but for those of you guys who like a little bit of color, I definitely recommend this product. I've been using it now for a few years. Honestly, since it dropped in, it is one of my favorite face powders. Now for my lips, you guys know I also own 427 Beauty, so I am using my lip tracer in the shade Chalk. That is my go-to liner. It is my favorite liner. And then I also paired it with the 427 Beauty Lippy. And for this look, I decided to go with a nude, which is something that I personally prefer whenever I'm doing, a, I guess, a busy eye. I like to keep the lips super simple. So I went in with my lip juice in the shade Baby Girl and it's like a pinky nude. As you guys can see, they're highly pigmented, they're super blendable and I just love it. Now, this next product I'm gonna show y'all, you know, if you got a hair store near you and I'm not talking about Sally's, y'all know this NK Gloss, it's not black owned, but it is black abused. And when I tell y'all we love our clear gloss, like. I didn't even want to create a clear gloss for 427 Beauty because I know no matter what, I'm going to always pull for my hair store gloss. Like, it's just perfect. Look at how it takes to lip up a notch. You can't beat that for $2. So that is it. That is how I transitioned this nighttime look or this daytime look into a nighttime look using my Juvia's Place palette and blending the oils down with my Black Opal product. I will see you all in day seven. I love you all. Bye-bye. Feel the streets spreading so much cheer I should be playing in the winter snow But I'ma be under the mistletoe